Hello, this is Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video I wanted to help Dr. King who asked if I could do a short video on how to create a basic UI with a menu and changing views. So let's start with the menu. First I would like to have a, a, a title for the menu. So let's create a label menu. This is the title. And now the, uh, the value theme uh, includes some useful uh, styles for menus, so I'm going to use them. Uh, cool, that's the title. Now we need the actual options, and for that I'm going to use buttons. So let's say view one, for example. And uh, we need to add a click listener here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the navigator and navigate to certain view. So this is the name of the view. Uh, we haven't created this yet, and we haven't added the views itself to the navigator, but we are going to do it in a moment. This is view one. And uh, also we need some uh, style names actually, a couple. So value theme dot uh, button link, and I think it's menu item. All right, and let's create another one for a second view. So I'll just change this quickly. Cool. So we have two options and the title. Now we need to put this inside some layout. So let's use a CSS layout. First the title, view one, and view two. This is the menu. And for the menu, there is also a style from the value theme, which is a menu root. Um, so that's the menu. Now we need like an area where to put the actual content, like the main content of the views. So let's define a new, uh, another CSS layout here. This is the view container. Let's call it like that. And uh, what else do we need? Well, we need uh, a new uh, main layout. So I'm going to use a horizontal layout. And then first we have the menu and then the view container. And this is the main layout. Let's actually make it sizeful, which is not by default. And this is the content of this UI. So main layout. All right, good. So uh, I mentioned I was using the navigator here, but we need to configure this thing. So uh, the way you do it is by creating a new navigator. Then here you need to specify the UI, which is this class, and then the uh, component uh, component container, which, whose uh, which uh, content is going to be replaced by the by the actual views. So that's view container. And let's assign this to a variable navigator. Now we can add the actual views. So uh, there is an add view uh, method, and then you pass the name of the view. So I'm using here view one and then the class that, imp that implements this uh, uh, this view. And this is a varying component, a van UI component. It doesn't exist, so let's create this class. And uh, can extend composite. And we need to implement view, this one here. Let's create a constructor and let's set the composition root, something very simple, just a label with this is view one. And because I'm very lazy, I'm going to copy this and I need the same to add a, a second implementation. So let's create this. And quickly change this to view two and view two. Also here. Cool. So we have the button UI, the view one and view two. This is just the, the servlet. All right. Uh, now there is something uh, more we need to do. Uh, we need to specify a uh, default view. There is something like this. 
uh, let's call it also default view. Now, of course, I need to create this class, so create class again, paste the same kind of implementation. I think it was the default view. And this is the default view. All right, this should compile now. Yeah, it does. So let's try running this application now. Uh, actually, it's running. I just need to compile. And localhost 8080. And yeah, so we have the menu here and uh, the content area, if you wish. So if I click view one, this changes and the, the new component is shown and also for view two, right? But there is this ugly thing here. Uh, fortunately, with Vadin uh, 8.2, you can use this annotation in your UI implementation which is uh, push state navigation. So this is going to use the HTML history API, uh, which allows to get rid basically of that uh, hash in the URL. And now it looks much better. And also you can, of course, use the backend and, um, and forward buttons in the browser. So this was very basic, but I hope it helped and uh, see you in the next video.